Okay, today we'll be opening up this Rydex Plus oil filter, number 7018P, and this Komoko oil filter, number F113401. And I got both of these oil filters from a very generous viewer whose nickname is Curly Dog. He sent me these two oil filters all the way from Kent, England, UK. This is number two and three out of the five oil filters that he sent me. One already has been opened in a past video, and two more will be opened in a future video. Thanks, Curly Dog. These oil filters fit his 2003 Vauxhall Vetra. Yep, the one with the 1.8 liter Z18XE four-cylinder engine. And these two filters are going to duke it out. Could get ugly, folks. And when the dust clears, we'll see who the winner is. So let's get started. This is a Okay, let's start with this Rydex Plus oil filter. And we got here, manufactured for Rydex, Berlin, Germany. And here's a website. And that's about it on this box for information. And let's open this box up and see what this filter looks like. And we got a date code, a long one here, 6247-608-187-439-40. And that's the all the information on this filter on the outside. And it's got this plastic covering over it. Nitro rubber gasket. And we got four lint holes. Metal core with holes. There's no bypass valve on this filter. The, the engine that these filters go on has its own bypass valve. I'll put a picture of it. What I think it looks like up on the screen. It's probably similar to the one I, of the picture I got on the screen. We got four grooves there for threads. Okay, I don't think this has an anti-drain back valve. Doesn't look like it. All right, let's look at the Komoko oil filter. Really no information on this filter except for there's a website right here also. But I looked up by that website. There's really not much for information. All right, let's take a look at this filter. filter. And here's the date code. ABZDZ281D1. Some instructions. And we got the oil filter size. It also has this plastic covering. Okay, and this filter has six inlet holes. Also doesn't look to be having uh, any drain back valve. Got about four grooves there for threads. Metal core with holes. And also no bypass valve. And a nitro over gasket. They look about the same. Filters are the same size. All right, let's cut these two filters open and see what's inside of them. Be right back. Okay, here they are cut open. Let's get their weights. The Rydex, 269.1 gram. The Kamoka, 244.65 grams. Let's take a look at these gaskets. These gaskets are almost the same thickness. I'll put the measurement up on the screen. This one's all shinier. It almost looks like one of those uh, uh, Purelator gaskets, the Boss Purelator Boss gaskets. I forgot what the name of these are, but uh, I'll put it up on the screen. That's what it looks like, anyways. But they they both look like they do a good job. Okay, let's go with the base plates. The Rydex, one sixteen point two grams. Kamoka, 109.6 grams. And these, oh, I measured it with the rubber in here. These, they both have these rubber little uh, spacers in here, I guess, to keep it nice and tight. They have no anti-drain back valves. So let's look at the threads here. The grooves, the threads, they look, look the same. The inlet holes, well, you got two more on the Kamoka, but... The right X look bigger, so I don't know. It's probably could even out. Yeah. 
They, they both look fine. Okay. Elements, filter elements. Rydex, 75.9 grams. And the Kamoka, 66.2 grams. Okay, let's look at the Rydex. Got a metal crimp seam, metal end caps, nice and clean. They're not sloppy or anything. The pleats are nicely spaced also. And I counted 55 pleats. And I looked up on their website and they say this is a semi-synthetic filter media with a micron rating of 98% at 20 microns. Yeah, this all looks nice and clean. Nicely made. Okay, and the Kamoka. I couldn't find anything. I went on their website, couldn't find any information about this filter. But also, they're very similar though. Metal end caps. And you got a crimp seam right here, metal crimp seam. And I counted 60 pleats on this Kamoka, so it has five more pleats. And like I said, I couldn't find out what this filter media is made out of. And they both have coil springs. Okay, and the cans. Kamoka, 50, 55 grams even. And the right X, 62 grams even. Let's get their measurements. I was getting about point. Five seven on this right X. Well, I'm getting about 0.60 now. It's eh, pretty close. The thick can's nice. And on this Kamoka, I was getting about 0.51 millimeters. Let's see. 0.53 millimeters. That's pretty good. It's also a nice thick can. And the filter element. This is the right X, 2.03 inches wide minus a tenth of an inch. Kamoka, 2.02 .02 inches wide minus a tenth of an inch. Almost the same thing. These filters are very similar for these filter, filter elements. Yep. I mean, they both got these. These are nice. Keeps the filter from you know, jiggling around in there like this. It still moves, but keeps it centered better. So yeah, let's take these two filters, cut them open, stretch them out, and uh, see what they look like. Be right back. Okay, here they are all stretched out. And the Rydex oil filter media is 49 inches long. And the Kamoka oil filter media is 54 inches long. Okay, let's check out the thickness on these guys. The Rydex filter media is 0.76 millimeters thick. And the Kamoka oil filter media is 0.70 millimeters thick. A little bit thinner. And this is the front filtering side, the back side. And if we take a look at these under a microscope, you're going to see the, the Rydex looks like it'd do a better job of filtering. Let's take a look at that picture. So as you can see, it looks like the Rydex would do a better job of filtering. You get more filter media with the Kamoka oil filter. And let's take a look at the rest of the filter. So I'd give these guys a tie. I'd give the base plate to the Kamoka oil filter. More inlet holes. You know, so that when it goes into the oil filter itself, it would spread out. So I would 
I'd give this base plate to the Kamoka. Springs, I'd give that a tie. Cans also, I'd give it a tie. They're, they're both thick cans. It's funny, this can looks like it's got sprayed with something. You can see it. It's got like overspray. It's kind of, kind of like a, kind of like rough. So some kind of overspray in there. And you know, they both got holes. And they're both got, these holes are rough. Although this one feels even worse than this one. And the, the Komoko feels worse than the Rydex. I mean, you can see, uh, let me just, you can see that it, it, it rubs on, you know, like that. It could, it could tear your filter. I mean, I don't know if it will, but I just thought I'd mention it. See, this one's got these little ridges so it doesn't really touch where this one does, you know See, this one touches these ridges are reset in just thought I'd mention that and I don't think you can buy these oil filters in the United States but you can check their website up if you want this one's uh, rightx.eu I'll put a link down below in the descriptions. And the Kamoka is kamoka.eu. So what do you guys think about these two filters? I think the Rydex would do a better job of filtering. And probably get a better oil flow with the Kamoka oil filter. And again, I want to thank Curly Dog for sending me these two filters all the way from England. And I think I'll wrap this video up. And don't forget, Oil Filter Fridays, I try to open up an oil filter every Friday on this YouTube channel. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching, and take care. The Rydex filter media weighs 11.7 grams. The Kamoka filter media weighs 9 grams.